Hi everybody, this is Ian Lamont, founder of In 30 Minutes Guys, including Microsoft Word In 30 Minutes by author Angela Rose and our popular line of technology cheat sheets. Today I'm going to be talking about using a Windows and having an external display and setting it up so if you have, let's say, a laptop and then you have an external display, they're showing different things. Right now they're showing the same things and this can be a bit of a problem because, of course, I want to be able to maybe look at notepad on this screen and I want to be able to look at that map on, on the other screen and this is how to do it. So um, also if this video helps you at the end, if you could like it or subscribe, it'd be very grateful. But let's get started here. So in my other video, I just set up the external monitor very easily for this Windows laptop just by plugging in the HDMI cable from the external monitor right into the HDMI port right on the laptop. And this is an older laptop running Windows 10. It worked right out of the box, I could get this. And this might be useful for situations where you wanna be displaying the exact same thing on each screen. For instance, let's say you have a store or you have a display uh, at school or at a trade show or something and you want like to run a video on this and then have the same video show up on that. This works great. But what if you wanna have different ones? This is how to do it. You need to uh, go to your control panel and find a settings called rearrange your displays. If you search on your control panel for displays and then rearrange your displays, you'll come to this screen. And when I first came here, I didn't know what the heck this meant, like one, two. Um, and I, I tried doing things like identify and detect. If you hit detect, it said didn't detect another display. And you may, may be thinking, well, what's, what's going on here? Um, identify, if you press that, you get this box and then it disappears. What you actually need to do is you need to scroll down. So scroll down a bit and then you come to, where is it? Multiple displays. I wish they put this at the top, not at the bottom, but there you go. Right now it says duplicate these displays. What I wanna do is extend these displays. You'll be prompted, keep the display set settings. And that means extending. Extending means having a separate screen showing something else. So I'm going to say keep changes. If you clicked revert, it would basically go back to the same thing on the on each screen. Okay, so now I have two screens going on. You can see when I'm scrolling from left to right, the mouse pointer shows up on the other screen. So let's see if I can get that other, I'm going to minimize this. Let's see if I can get the map, which is the more important thing, and drag it over here. And yep, there it is. And then what I could do is I could expand it a little bit, make, make it bigger. I don't have my mouse hooked up, so it's a little bit harder. So here I have my map. And actually what I'm gonna do is just make it giant size. And then here on the other screen, I have my notepad. And what I'm trying to do is just basically type in the states. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And so states in the mountain time zone, then I can start to type. So Montana, Idaho, part of Oregon. And all I need to do is just look over and see what they are. So, you know, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, etc. For more information on how to get the most out of your computers, I have lots of uh, videos about using software as well as how to set up the hardware. So I have, a, I have this series for the Windows external display. I have another one for Mac external displays, which actually shows, up, shows how to sh set up two displays. But for this, for this Windows setup, this is a pretty basic thing to get going. Very helpful. And it works pretty well right out of the box using a Windows 10 and this, um, you know, very low cost laptop that I had lying around. For more information, go to uh, in30minutes.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. If this video helped you, if you could like it, I'd be very grateful. Thank you so much for watching.